In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O God, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaken, the one who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, not that there is another, but there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one that we preach to you, let that one be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you received, let that one be accursed. Am I now currying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, 
And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to that place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel passage this morning, a scholar of the law asks Jesus two essential questions. First, he asks, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus prompts the lawyer to answer the question himself. He does so by referring to the primary love command, love of God and love of neighbor. Second, and perhaps to justify himself for not treating everyone as his neighbor, he asks, and who is my neighbor? In his response, Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan. In looking carefully at that parable, we see that it doesn't answer the question, who is my neighbor? Instead, it seems to answer a, uh, another question. Which of these three prove to be a good neighbor? The parable explains what it means to be a genuine neighbor. And Jesus implies that it is more important to be a neighbor to others than to define who my neighbor is. The implication is that everyone is my neighbor. We could say that the answer to the lawyer's first question, what must I do to inherit eternal life, is to be a good neighbor. If you want to know how to be a good neighbor, simply look at the Samaritan in this parable. The priest, the Levite, and the Samaritan all notice the wounded man by the roadside. What sets the Samaritan apart is that he responded in mercy and compassion to what he saw. The priest and the Levite probably saw with eyes focused on the laws of purity, which they saw as far more important than showing compassion. Their way of seeing precluded any assistance to the man on that road. The Samaritan's way of seeing gave way to compassion and mercy. It's the kind of seeing that characterized Jesus himself. His answer to the lawyer's first question is, be a good neighbor in the way that I am. Trusting in God's goodness, we now turn to him with these, our prayers of petition that we may accept the challenge of the gospel as a way of life with the values of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that our faith and hope may be strengthened as we worship God who sets no limit on his mercy. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that we may recognize the needs of those around us and bring them a comforting word or deed. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who work to build up goodness in our neighborhoods may be blessed in their endeavors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all seminarians, that they may be diligent in their discernment about priesthood, and that we may support them by our prayers and encouragement. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, in a special way today, we remember Dean and Michelle Rosen, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those who are in a nursing home or hospital, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, 
we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will. And we ask you to help us to follow your will in all that we say and do this day. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. <speaking in Hebrew> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh.